Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and jump straight in. Thank you for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. Any information that you may be looking for will be listed in the description as far as my Facebook card channel and also my personal reading channel, okay? Oh, and feel free to comment below and let me know how this reading resonated. All right, so the situation at hand, we have the judgment card. So there's personal epiphanies that you're realizing about yourself, about people around you. Uh, and there could be this resurgence of someone or someone coming back around, trying to resurface back in your life. This could be the person you have a child with. This could be an old friend. This could be someone who has an interest in you romantically. But I do see someone popping back up or they're popping up in your head just mentally. You could be having a flash moment where you think about someone who you have an extensive past with. Okay, I also have the Ten of Cups in reverse. So there's some sort of family situation that could be on the rocks. This could be either the relationship with the person you have children with or with like a mother-father dynamic. Um, or like a certain family member maybe you live with or that you once had a close relationship with. Also, when it comes to your personal sense of happiness, you could be realizing that the same things that you may have thought would have truly made you happy may not necessarily make you happy in the stage of life that you're in. Um, and of course, we evolve and we change. But the things that once were just enough for you isn't necessarily enough anymore and that could be something that you're just realizing i also have the five of cups so you could be in a space of looking back at some of the things that maybe uh happened within the last couple of years or so this could be you know recounting a friendship that isn't necessarily up to date anymore or this could be thinking about a failed relationship or an opportunity business-wise that maybe you wish you started or took advantage of when it was around. But you could be so caught up in this that you're not seeing the opportunity in the present moment that you guys still have. Okay, now what is the possible challenge for Aquarius? Hold on, I got a couple of cards that flipped out. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Star card, and let's pull one more. Sorry, guys. And I have the Six of Wands. So the challenge could be that things are shifting and changing and it could be confusing as to in which direction things are shifting and changing too. Also, the challenge could be remaining hopeful or keeping your energy in a high optimistic space because maybe there has been things that you know, quite make you question your faith and whether or not it's worth having your faith intact, especially when it comes to the level of success that you guys could be wanting to tap into, um, wanting to accomplish, okay? Also, you could have somebody who is really desperate for attention, like, but not in a good way. Like, they'll do anything to get attention from you, even if it's negative attention. This could be a, um, a Leo, an Aquarius, okay, or some of you guys, uh, a failed situation here, a failed relationship could have a lot of weight on, on your emotions as of right now. Now, going into the advice with the Five of Swords, there's definitely a need for you guys not to self-sabotage during this time frame. You know exactly what is in your best interest, what isn't in your best interest. So this is making sure that you're not doing anything that takes you um, away. Away from being focused, away from being driven, all of that. Also with the Queen of Wands in reverse, if you're dealing with the Aries, Sagittarius or Leo individual that is um, inconsistent or player-like, or they have their own motives behind the things that they do, it, it may be best in your, it may be in your best interest to not maybe give them that energy to be able to pick and choose, you know, when to do right by you or allowing them to manipulate you if you know they have that quality. And the other piece of advice, I have the three of cups in reverse. So definitely not going back to any failed relationships, friendships, 
okay, situations of the past. Also, there could be certain social medias that you would just do a lot better if you didn't go on them or if you didn't give it as much time throughout the day or, or, or focus. Okay, also, if you've been just feeling out of it energy-wise, doing things to uplift yourself energy-wise so that you can be focused, be creative, be productive. All right, so what's the energy around love for Aquarius? We have the Ten of Wands in reverse. I have the Seven of Cups in reverse. And I have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So you guys are in a space of dropping a burden of a relationship that could consist of a lot of confusion and a lot of illusions and smoke and mirrors. And you're starting to see the reality after dropping this relationship. Okay, you could be realizing that maybe this person didn't care as much as you did or wasn't as considerate emotionally or may have been, you know, someone who needed to know how to properly love, for instance. For others of you, if you're single, you could be in a space to where you're realizing that you really do need to let go of just the baggage of what you've been through, period, because you're now seeing the reality of what past relationships and situationships consisted of where it may have been smoky mirrors before and now it's it's clear as day what's in your best interest okay some of you could be feeling like you don't really want the burden of being in a relationship at all because you're just wanting to do you but when it comes to career i have the page of swords in reverse the knight of swords and the king of cups in reverse so for a lot of you, you could be searching long and hard for a new job, for a career upgrade, and you could have some days where you're really, really focused and driven in regards to that. And then other days where you're kind of like, uh, I'm waiting for something that's exciting or for, you know, a response or something like that. For others of you, you could have like days at work where there are certain coworkers that you're kind of questioning in terms of their... Um, intentions yeah you could have like some snappy moments as well with certain co-workers like there could be certain co-workers that are a little bit snappy hmm some of you guys could be in a career just in general that you don't really care too much about the things that may come with it like maybe the pay is good, but you don't care too much about like the coworkers that you may work with. Or there's certain things that are just like a strong no for you in terms of what you may have to put up with. Okay, what is the advice or not advice, the message for my Aquarius for the next 72 hours? So I have Globe, which represents possibility. So this is knowing that, look, you guys are not limited to any outcome. You're not limited to any job, relationship, nothing. You are limitless, okay? So know that the opportunities that you could be looking for could lie out there for you. You just may be needing to put yourself out there, take a chance, and believe in the possibility of you know, being able to be successful career-wise or the possibility of manifesting someone who is equally yoked, okay? Know that the possibilities are endless. I also have obstacles and blocks are lifted. All your good personal work and your positive energy shift. No, excuse me. All your good personal work and your positive energy positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. Okay, so things are clearing up for you guys. Things are about to get a lot better, even though you've had a rough time. And we have your own best efforts are all that's necessary to progress. So all you have to do is try. This is a reminder that you don't have to Subscribe to perfectionism, okay? Progress or progression over perfection, okay? <laughs> Instead of trying to have everything figured out, the beauty is within the journey and the answers may lie within your journey itself. Of course, there's going to be things that you can maybe avoid by doing the proper research and everything, but certain things you just won't know or become an expert in until you get experience. So remember that. But thank you and I will see you in the next one.